What's up, everybody, and welcome once again to the Poindexter Lounge. That's right, the Poindexter Lounge. What is it, Tiff? A place for nerds. That's right. It's a place for nerds. All nerds. 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 Talk nerdy to her. She likes it. I All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, my name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett, and always is with me, the lovely... Tiff-tastic. That's right. And today, we just want to welcome you. If this is your first time here at the lounge, we want to say, hey... Welcome in, have some fun with us, all right? Sit back, relax, have a conversation with us. And if this is your first time, you know what? Why don't you hit that subscribe button and become part of this nerdy group, all right? And then also, if you're going to do that, you might as well hit that uh, notifications bell so that you know when we put out new videos. And Tiff, how often do we put out new videos? We put out videos daily, if not more than that. Exactly. Like sometimes just two, three, four, five hundred videos a day. Yes. <laughs> not that many all he does yes okay but if you do that we'd really appreciate it and then of course also if you like the content if you like the stuff that we talk about why don't you consider giving us a thumbs up just so that we know that you dig what we do all right and then also i know you've heard it a million times but leave a comment down in the comment section so that we can have a conversation so that we can have some fun together because that's what we love here on the channel yes. is interaction with you because this is your channel just as much as it is ours all right, so hey, so that's the spiel. That's all the YouTube jargon. And uh, <laughs> now let's get to the story. Let's get to what we're talking about today, Tiff. Last week, yes, we did a video, mm -hmm. uh, a few of them. But last week in particular, we did a video about the new Birds of Prey yes. movie. And uh, how did you feel about the Birds of Prey movie coming out? I was very excited and very interested to see what they're going to do with it who was you know we already saw who was going to be directing it but just seeing who was going to be in it besides harley quinn or margot robbie yeah and so we know that it's supposed to start filming in january mm -hmm. we know it's birds of prey but we did not know who the other ladies were who the other ladies were well guess what the rap has kind of gotten the rap <laughs> on who's going to be in it all right so a new report has sprung up talking about uh, this this movie and who's going to be part of that movie alongside Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn in the upcoming live-action Birds of Prey movie. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. The rap reports that, that it's going to be uh, Cassandra Cain, Black Canary, nice. Huntress, and Renee Montoya. Montoya? Montoya. You killed my brother, prepared to die. Yes, no. So that's what it's going to be. Um, those are the DC characters set to join Harley in the film, Very which cool. is being helmed by Kathy Yan and penned by Christina Hodson. Additionally, the report suggests that the film's villain will be a character from Batman's Rogue Gallery. Nice. Yes. And that uh, it'll be one that has never been on the big screen before. See, now that's cool. DC knows what they're doing. Yeah. You know what? There's, I, I was reading an article <laughs> that just kind of talked about that it seems like there's like this resurgence all of a sudden with DC. Mm -hmm. Because Aquaman's coming out and Aquaman, that Looks poster. Looks kick butt. Oh, my goodness. That poster. We love you, Jason Momoa. Oh, my goodness. That poster looks awesome. We're, mm -hmm. We got a little teaser, and I haven't done a video on this just because I didn't have time yet. But there was a video that had a little teaser of what the, um, the, uh, story is or whatever whatever but we're Very gonna cool. get we're supposed to get the trailer here pretty soon and uh so can't wait for that but so we got aquaman shazam looks yes awesome oh my goodness shazam looks like it's amazing and it's getting a lot of traction mm -hmm. people seem to really be like latching on to the shazam thing and yep. so i like that and then of course wonder woman's gonna come out of course another kick butt chick movie yeah i mean so wonder woman you know that's been the best thing for dc so far so, if they do this, Beating Marvel. <coughs> if they do this movie well, uh, this could really be a resurgence yep. for the DCEU and hopefully get it back on track. Especially because I've been really concerned lately because there's been a couple of stories that have come out. One that suggested that Henry Cavill was done being Superman. No. And I don't know where I'm that not comes let from. You, Henry. Um, I don't. I don't know where that comes from because everything that henry ever is in he's like dude signing up for good for a while now i want to be superman until must be the same people that are saying bad ben affleck's not saying batman uh, you know but i mean we hear a new ben affleck story yeah. every other month it seems like 
But this Superman thing, that's the first time I had heard of that. And uh, John Campia was reporting it, and he didn't seem to believe it either. But yeah. somebody had told him that, and then he was hearing it from other places. So I really hope that's not true. No. And then there was a story that came out that said Lawrence Fishburne was done as Perry White, that he didn't know if they were going to call him back or not. Well, I want a Man of Steel too, man. I want yeah. more Lawrence Fishburne. And so, anyway, so we're getting sidetracked. But it's the DCEU, <laughs> okay? And so this is what we want. And so when you talk about that it's a Batman villain... That we haven't seen on film before. That's exciting. And it makes you think and grind those gears to find out who it is. Yeah. Um, now, one of the things... Okay, so it, it, this, this talks about it. says it could be Black Mask, which would, which would be a, a good character to, to have in a Batman movie. It could be Clayface. Eh, mm. Not really into Been that. Been there, done that. Red Hood. Which we've seen, but they could do another take on that. Now, see, Red Hood would be interesting because one, because Red Hood has been very, uh, has been different people. Yeah. Red Hood has been different people, including the Joker Mm -hmm. at one point in the comics. So that could be uh, the Mad Hatter. See, now I like their little spin that they did on Gotham. So if they kind of took that and just kind of changed that up for this specifically, I think that would be great. Yeah, I will say one thing. We're all mad here. (laughs) People are really (laughs) divided on Gotham, it seems. People either really love it or they hate it. And I will say this, the one thing that Gotham definitely does really well are some of these villains. Yes. Even though they're in, in the story way too, too early. Too soon, but... But they, they do a good... I mean, they but nail it, it, could it, be, it could be the ventriloquist. Yeah. Firefly. That would be cool. Again, Gotham did that good. I think to be able to expound on what they started would be cool. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. Firefly's a, a female, and if yep. they wanted to kind of keep that, you know, maybe another female character. I mean, but... Can be the Mad Hattress. <laughs> Make it a po- girl. Poison Ivy has already been in a Batman movie. Yep. Um, and obviously Catwoman has already been in a Batman movie. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, but it also says Solomon Grundy and Hush. And those have never oh. been on, uh, most of them have been on TV, but they haven't been on film. So uh, here's the interesting thing. So this is an R-rated girl gang movie. I'm okay with that. You all right with that? Yes, I am. Okay. I felt like we needed more of that besides just Harley Quinn, Katana, and the Enchantress. I mean, you yeah. needed a little little more to even it out. So Absolutely. I'm excited. Yeah, so, so I think that's good. Here's the one interesting thing. Something that's omitted from this, somebody who is not mentioned, and that's Batgirl. Yeah. No Batgirl mentioned in this. Now, we could just not be getting the full story, obviously. Maybe yet. like in uh, Justice League, we're not going to find out until later she'll show up. Who knows? Yeah. But Barbara Gordon has always been a huge part of the Birds mm-hmm. of Prey, yes. uh, you know, thing. And so it it would be interesting to Maybe have... Maybe they're trying to keep something secret. Who knows? I hope so. I hope so. But I'm looking forward to this. Yes. I'm I, I'm definitely uh, all about seeing this. Yes. So, but hey, what do you guys think out there? Are you looking forward to seeing this Birds of Prey movie? Are you excited about it? Are you like Tiffany? You're just drooling at the mouth. You just can't wait to see... Harley Quinn in action again, let us know down in the comments. Yeah, I'm with the guy. She's hot. She is hot. (laughs) I mean, I'm thankful that I have a wife. She's a a bad guy. It's what she does. Margot Robbie, man. Yeah, she embodies the, she's the epitome of Harley Quinn, so. Yeah, I mean, she's got it down. I I just can't imagine now anybody else in that role Mm -mm. at this point, so. So anyways, well, what do you think? We want to know. So leave your comments down in the comments section, or please go to Twitter at Enosh Music, or... Grand Tiff Tarkin. Grand Tiff Tarkin. That's right. <laughs> and let us know what you think. All right. Until next time, my name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett, along with the lovely... Tiff-tastic. All right. And, uh, hey, like our videos and subscribe. You know you M- want to. Make it be what you do. <laughs> All right. Till next time.